Hello, everyone. It's so good to be back here again. Thank you so much for tuning in. Yes, this is Saffron Media. And we are here to give you the best, the most trending, exciting, reliable, and authentic happenings in Nigeria, especially in the areas of politics and many more. And of course, you know how it's been going right here. I hope you like everything we've uh, sent to you earlier. And uh, you know that Erifai, that is the governor of uh, Kaduna State, has actually been flexing muzzle for the NLC chairman after they had a protest in Kaduna today. You know, there was a strike by the uh, airport workers and some civil service uh, sectors and all of that. And uh, he declared the NLC chairman wanted and some others. But guess what? Those guys did not even bow to any of his rants. But, uh, you know, somehow... He has to return to the negotiating table and, uh, you know, he just decided to relax his muscles and uh, decide to agree with this guy. But let us find out what uh, the agreement is and why he's now having a roundtable talk with all of these guys. More details you'll find right here. But please, if you have not subscribed, ensure you hit the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Turn on the notification bell. And, of course, ensure you like and share our videos. All right, my dear friends, without further ado, let us dive right into the details of this report. As it says, the governor of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, have asked the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, to return to the negoti negotiating table with the Cardinal State Government rather than flexing muzzles regarding Governor Nasir Erifal Sack of thousands of local government workers. The governors on this, under the edges of the Progressive Forum on the Progressive Governors Forum, PGF, gave the charge in a statement issued on Tuesday in Abuja and signed by the Chairman and Governor of Kebu State, Abu Bakar Atiku Bagudu. PGF said it has been following unfolding developments between the NLC and the Cardinal State Government over the issue of right-sizing local government employees with deep concerns noting all the challenges facing all our states, especially given dwindling revenue, we appeal to all patriotic Nigerians, including the NLC, to demonstrate more commitment towards engaging government at all levels to address problems. This is not the time for muzzle flexing, they stated. According to the APC governors, Nigerians are already overstretched with many challenges, adding that at this critical point of our democratic journey, there cannot be limits to engagement between all governments and citizens. Every step must, be, must therefore be taken to resolve the recent or current face-off between the Cardinal State Government and NLC. We appeal to both the State Government and the NLC to return to the negotiating table they cancelled. The governors particularly appealed to the NLC leadership to recognize that the burden of leadership at this point is more about responding to challenges based on the honest disposition of correcting past mistakes. They said, as progressive governors, we share the vision of Cardinal State Government of reforming all our local governments to make them more efficient and consequently the pivots of critical development initiatives. At the same time, we want to appeal to the Cardinal State Government under the leadership of our colleague, Malam Nasir Erfa, to take all the necessary steps to ensure the resolution of all disagreements in the larger interest of citizens in Cardinal State. We are confident that both the Cardinal State Government and NLC will resolve all outstanding issues and restore industrial harmony in Kaduna State. Wow, this is really interesting because, uh, you know, the uh, Governor's Forum has uh, actually uh, decided to come to the aid of uh, the uh, NLC chairman and on behalf of the Governor of Kaduna State as well because all of this do not really have to escalate to this level. But somehow, you know, our government do not even have pity on the people. But somehow, if you are uh, in Nigeria and you see how these guys hand you, you know, civil service, you'll be so shocked as to why some of these people 
are even working in the civil service. Some of them don't even understand. They don't even have the ethics. They lack ethics. They lack etiquette, you know, to handle civil service. You'll be so shocked. Even some teachers in the, in the universal basic education, uh, UBEC and even SUBEC, you'll be so surprised how some of them cannot pass knowledge to the children they are teaching. So even if a governor would uh, sack some of these people, it is worth it because some of them have not proven themselves in any way. But of course, in Kaduna State, the numbers of those sacked were so much, about 29,000 workers. Wow. And you know, the problem is, it's not even the sack that is the problem. They said the way they were sacked is the problem that, uh, you know, there was really no consultation or whatever to make them understand why they are really being sacked. That was a challenge. But, of course, I believe that Nasir Erufai is a prudent man and a wise man. He should be able to handle this. Yes, he should be able to handle it. Though he's a no-nonsense man, and, uh, you know, somehow there are times that you have to uh, be flexible with some of the decisions you have made. And there are some times that you have to go back on your words just because he wants peace to reign. So I believe that both Erufai and the um, Nigerian Labour Congress in Kaduna State can come to one table and agree so that there can be peace in the state. There's already too much, you know, things happening. A lot of people are overwhelmed by the things happening in the country today, especially in Kaduna State. And adding this to it is really overstretching. So obviously, I believe that the Cardinal State Governor is a sensible man and he should be able to handle this. And also the NLC Chairman should also be able to think and uh, understand that uh, everything cannot just uh, go the way they always want. Though it can go the way they want, but I think sometimes they should still sit down and count the cost because some of these people in the service are really not worth it. That is a major truth. But of course, not this time. This is a very wrong time for any government to be sacking people because the level of poverty in the country is too much. The oppression is too much. Everything is so going wrong. So sacking people, adding to their problem, is a terrible thing at this point in time. It could happen any other time. But at this point, man, it is not advisable that any governor gets involved with the sack of people i would not advise that in any way even if they are doing it wrongly just try as much as possible to you know teach them what to do and uh, make them understand that if this is not properly done it could cost them their jobs but sacking them at this point is not really welcomed so really i hope that all of this uh, could be settled in no time as uh, air fire and the nlc chairman and others comes to an agreement so that is it my dear people thank you for listening please drop your comments and also give this video a thumbs up do have a pleasant time bye for now